been a while since I filmed a video here, so this is a little different. I feel like this is higher up than it normally is. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Okay. Um, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, is it crooked? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog and I also want to go to Barnes because there's one more book on my September TBR that I don't have a physical copy of yet and I want to get one other book. I'm only getting two books. I've told myself this 25 times this morning. I'm only getting two books. Two. Okay? So we just, everybody needs to hold everybody accountable. I'm only getting two books. Um, but I'm going to start Define Me um, while I'm there. I think this is sh like, I think Shatter Me might be bigger than this one, but she's very small, which makes me scared. Because I already know the big plot point of this book because it was spoiled for me, but I don't really know how it happens, how we get there, how it ends. I just know this one part. And I'm not going to think about it because it makes me sad. Um, so yeah, I'm going to read this and then I'm going to read Reveal Me. And we're going to go to Barnes. So let's go to Barnes. <laughs> Unfortunately, did I, I filmed the one clip of me walking into Barnes and Noble and that was it. Because every single aisle I went down, somebody was there and I felt too awkward to just pull out my phone and start videoing. So I didn't do that. Um But I did get like some pictures and other less obvious content things. So I'm gonna show you the books that I got and I did splurge and get three. So, but I used, I used my rewards. I had enough rewards to get a book free. So I did that. And I stopped myself from getting the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of The Brothers Hawthorne. And I read the back of it. I'm not gonna know if I'm gonna be able to wait a year, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. The first book I got was Book Lovers by Emily Henry. This is the last one. Emily Henry book that I have other than Happy Place but I'm waiting for that to be in paperback because I want all my Emily Henry books to be the same. Um, so I'm waiting on that but I got Book Lovers so that's one. This was what I was planning on getting. It was an option. Um, so I have that now. I also got Ranger's Apprentice, The Royal Ranger, Duel at Aruan. This is the third book in the Royal Ranger series, and it's on my September TBR, and it's very, very tiny. Look at that. It's a little book. It's smaller than the, the other one. There is, oh wow, 314 pages. So this is going to be a quick read, hopefully. I don't know. These books take me forever to read because they're kind of slow. Um, even when you're in like the middle of the series, they're kind of slow, but I'm hoping this one will pick up because um, The last one left on a cliffhanger. What's it? The Red Fox, the Red Fox Clan It ended on a cliffhanger. So I'm hoping that this one immediately just picks up and continues on with the story um, That would be ideal So that's that's the one that I knew I was gonna get today and it was the last copy left in Barnes & Noble so yeah, and the little kids in the children's section were looking at me really weird. But we're not going to talk about them. I ignored them because I'm allowed to read... What would that be? Children's Fantasy 2. Okay? It's fine. Then, the book that I cheated to get, because this is the second time I've seen it in Barnes & Noble, and I didn't know when it would be back, or if it even would be back. I, I don't know. Um, I'm going to take the bookmark out. Oh yeah, I got a free bookmark. Anyways, um, that's like my 12th free bookmark from Barnes & Noble. Um, I got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition if, of If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, and I love it. 
and it's going on my book cart on the bottom shelf. Should I, should I put both? I should, I already have the original version that I have. Hold on, let me get it. Okay, I already have this copy. Boring Edges, still cute cover, but Boring Edges, you know? Um, so should I put this one on here too? And have both of them right next to each other? This one is a lot smaller than this one. They're smaller. That's odd. Um, maybe there's just more words on the page? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna put both of them on my cart and have them together. Because they're the same book. Or should I just do one? I don't know. I'll figure it out. And then I'll update you on the book cart because I've switched it around again because I've added... I'll just give me a second and I'll explain my my book cart situation currently. Okay, we are like all the way on the ground. This is as short as this tripod gets. So you can see it a little bit better. Basically, all of the books that I'm currently reading go on this side of my Bible or of like my journal and stuff. Um and then all of the books that like I read this month will go up here so I don't constantly have to go inside my closet to the shelf where most of my books are and just fight with that whole thing because they're stacked instead of like standing up like this and I just I don't want to deal with it anymore so they go up there current reads go over here um and it's gonna fall it's fine because I haven't read any finished any books yet I'm in the middle of one and I'm about to start defining and I think it's in my back. I don't know where it is. I haven't even started it yet. This is a reading vlog and I haven't even started the book I'm supposed to be reading. Okay, anyways, this is my physical TBR. I added the two new books to it and then I had to put this one, 101 Things I Learned in Architecture School. I had to put that back here because I have no more room. It's filled with books. And we're just gonna ignore this one and pretend like I read it last month, even though I definitely did not. Um, and then the bottom shelf is like my top 10 books or series of the year so far. And then there's more in the back. Like I have the Colin Cobble, Hope Beach Trilogy. I have Better Than the Movies and two Emily Henry books back here. I have Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation because those are the only two books that I've read. So yeah, and then I have all of these and I put both If We Were Villains in here because they do both deserve to be present always, all the time. So yeah. I just have books everywhere at this point, but it's fine. We have those. We have If We Were Villains. We have the Six of Crows duology for obvious reasons. We have most of the Shatter Me series, book one through four. So that's all I've read. We're about to read book five. This is not a reading vlog right now, but it's fine. It's fixing to me. Um, then I have the Inheritance Games trilogy. Technically, it's a cycle or a series or whatever you want to call it. I don't really know. I've given up on trying. And then the Summer of Book Rules. So that's what I have so far. I think that's nine. I'm counting the series as like one. So the, so Six of Crows Duology is one. Charmy Series is one. Inheritance Games Trilogy is one. And then the Hope Beach, Hope Beach Trilogy is one. I'm considering series as one. Don't come at me for that. So I think I have nine right now. And yes, I have not read Love Theoretically yet. But you know what? I have it. And that makes me very happy. Because I spent two months looking for that book. And it was never there. And then one day, it was there. So then I got it. I impulse bought it. Even though I was supposed to buy Do a Little Rollin', I got Love Theoretically instead. So yeah. A lot of these books are going to be in vlogs. So just be prepared for that. Lots of reading vlogs coming soon. So I'm only 100 pages in, 106. And this book is very sad. 106 pages of sadness. 
with a few of Kenji's jokes mixed into there, but um, I have a feeling this whole entire book is just going to be sadness. So, yeah. It's really making me sad, like really sad, really sad. Especially Julia and Warner's POV. Really, really sad right now, and I'm not enjoying any of it. So yeah, I've I've definitely annotated a lot. Like that is one page of annotations or two pages, I guess. And I'm just I'm having a rough time. This is very sad, but I'm gonna keep power throwing because I don't know maybe it'll get happier later maybe I'm really hoping it gets happier because this is rough I'm struggling a little bit it's very very sad and it's, oh, it's I'm I'm struggling so I'm gonna go cry and read this and I will update you I don't know maybe a hundred pages later I'm not really sure all I know is I'm sad and I don't want to be sad anymore so petition for this book to be happy because I I'm really sad okay I'm gonna go be sad some more. It's been five minutes. It's been less than five minutes, actually. Page 109. I give up. I, I simply give up. I, I, give, I, I, I give up. I give up. I can't. I don't even like, Every time I read a book in this series, the words, it, we get to a certain point where words will not process in my brain and we have hit that point. Page 109, last sentence in the page. I don't even know what to do anymore. Like it's not, I don't know how to process the information. So where do I, where does it go? Like what do I do? Do with that. I really wish I could read it to you, but I'm trying to keep the spoiler free. And I just, I. How is this happening? How, how, how is, how is this happening right now? How? Somebody explain it to me because I do not understand how this is happening right here, right now. Because. It, the next chapter and hopefully I get more answers sooner rather than later because you know with this being triple POV it's you know kind of in a rotation right now and I just, I, I need things to calm down or just not be this crazy, maybe. I, I really don't know what to do with that. Like, what do I, what do I do? What do I, what do I, uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay, I don't really have anything to update you guys on, other than the fact that this book just keeps getting sadder the more that I read it. Like, I've never read a book that continuously got more and more and more sad ever in my life. Like, this is really, really bad. Um, but I do have a theory as to what's going on with Juliet. 
and I wish I could tell you the theory, but then it would be a spoiler if you haven't finished the series yet. So I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So I'm not going to tell you about my theories, but just know that I have a theory and I'm really hoping that I'm, I'm really hoping that I'm not right because if I am, things are about to get a thousand percent worse and it's going to make me so sad. It's making me sad thinking about if I'm right. So never in my life have I ever wanted to be wrong and I had a theory about a book until now. So yeah, I'm on page 161. I'm very sad and I wish this book was a little bit happier. So I'm not even getting any of Kenji's little jokes anymore. Those are long gone. And I'm very sad. So I'm gonna go back to, you know, reading this sad book. It makes me want to cry every five seconds. So Okay, so things have gotten better. They've gotten, I don't wanna say a lot better because then I'm gonna read the next chapter and we're gonna be back to sadness. Um, but I'm on page 235, which means I have like maybe 100 pages left in the book. And things are going quite well sort of kind of a, a little bit it's it's better than it was um but i'm also very scared for what's gonna happen in the last like 100 pages that there is left um Yeah, there's like a hundred pages left. So I'm very scared for what's gonna happen in the last hundred pages, but I'm hoping it's good because right now it's really, really bad. It's really bad. Um, but yeah, things are getting better. I hope they continue to get better because Wow, things have, it's, it's been rough and I have only cried once though, so I guess that's good. Um, and I, I like cried, but then I didn't need to cry because the thing that I thought was going to happen never happened. So yeah, we're, we're doing good, I think. We'll see. Time will tell. Okay, so I'm almost done. I have this much left. Um, but I have to read you a quote from this book because Aaron and Kenji are talking about my favorite Disney princess and what Kenji says just... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so they're talking about movies and then... Aaron calls Tangled just like a cartoon, and so Kenji goes, a cartoon? Tangled is not a cartoon. Tangled is one of the most, one of the greatest movies of all time. It's about fighting for freedom and true love. So yeah, uh, that is hilarious and amazing at the same time because that's like my favorite Disney princess. And it is not a cartoon. It is one of the greatest movies of all time. So Kenji is right. And for once in my life, I'm actually gonna say that Aaron is wrong. So that's literally all I had to say. All right, it is the next day, um, but I finished Defy Me last night and I gave it five stars. It was so good. I loved the ending. I really liked the ending. It was a it was a good ending because I would say about this much of the book was just sadness. This this was sadness. 
and this was not. So it was pretty rough. The first, over the first half was pretty rough. Um, but then we got some happiness at the end. I can't really tell you what the happiness was because then that's a spoiler of that. Just so it's really good. It's your, it's, it's such a good ending and I love it so much. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Define Me. Made me really sad, but most books do. Um, so now I'm going to read, I think the last time I'll get Kenji's POV in this series, which is really sad. Um, I'm going to read Reveal Me. And then I'm not going to rate it, but, you know... We'll, uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, I'm gonna read this and then we'll be, we will, you know, wrap up this video. Okay, it's the next day and I finished Reveal Me. Again, I didn't give it a rating. I don't think I'm gonna give novellas ratings. Also, the ending of this makes me really wanna get Imagine Me right now immediately um but we are not gonna do that we're gonna patiently wait for the next tbr and then now it's the next tbr um but yeah this book was it was good and it was very sad and i think that was the last of kenji's pov that i will be getting so yeah, I'm not too happy about that. It makes me kind of sad. But, all right. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did. Um, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload, which is on Mondays. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.